Hello everyone and welcome, welcome to another Explore video. So I'm doing another Explore video because of the new Explore anthology announcement. And there was an archetype that I did want to kind of try out, which is going to be this deck, Pyromancer Tribal deck. You have the young Pyromancer and the Iconoclast now from the Brothers War. And along with it, we, you also have Sahili on the top end to constantly generate 1-1s one so that you can win through going wide extremely fast. But you might be wondering, like, why are we splashing black? So I've already tried the Z variant of this, which also involves Young Pyromancer and Third Path Iconoclast. But the gimmick here is that if you generate a bunch of 1-1s with them, then you throw in Balmor, Battle Mage, Captain, and then buffing the entire board in dealing lethal damage. But the problem with this kind of deck came from the fact that Rakdos midrange was unbelievably popular deck in Explorer. Not only do they have a bunch of spot removals for your creatures, they also played Shieldred, which meant that if you played Izzet, you actually don't have any ways of dealing with the Shieldred in dealing 5 damage with a cheap removal spells. And that's one of the reasons why I decided to splash black so we can deal with Shaldred cleanly with Bloodcheap Thirst, Fatal Push, and in the sideboard we also have some more black removal spells that are only 2 mana cost there. So the gameplay with this deck just revolves around controlling the board until you get Young Pyromancer or Third Pass Iconoclast down along with Sahili for example and just go wide very very quick in overwhelming your opponent. As for draw spells, we got 4 copies of Consider, 4 copies of Frantic Inventory, and 2 copies of, of One Mind. If this was Historic, we would be playing Expressive Iteration, but Expressive Iteration is banned in Explorer and Pioneer, so we can't have that. And that's one of the reasons why we're playing Frantic Inventory in our deck. It's not the most amazing card to play in your deck. But just because if you play with Pyromancer and Iconoclast or even Sahili, 2 mana draw 1 suddenly becomes a 2 mana draw 1 and create a bunch of dudes on the board. So it's not that bad and it does obviously build up the longer the game goes on. Next frantic inventory you cast is going to draw you 2 cards, 3 cards, and 4 cards. And lastly, as for of 1 mind, Young Pyromancer and Third Path Iconoclast happens to be human and the dudes that they create are not humans so of one mind becomes a one mana draw two spell which becomes pretty powerful but the only reason we're only playing two copies of it is because of its sheer reliance on young pyromancer and iconoclast being on the board so i decided to only play two copies of it and in our main deck we also play two copies of cling to dust for some graveyard hate and a cantrip at the same time and two copies of Colgan's Command so that we can rebuy back Young Pyromancer and Iconoclast if they happen to go to the graveyard, which is pretty important since we only have eight copies of them total. And that's also going to be one of the reasons why we're going to be playing more copies of Colgan's Command in the sideboard for Rakdos midrange matchups. As for the sideboard, we're going to be playing some counter spells or control matchups, one copy of Spell Pierce and a copy of Disdainful Stroke. And lastly, we're we're also going to be playing two copies of Make This Appear since we're going to have a bunch of targets in our deck for the casualty cost through Young Pyromancer and Iconoclast. I thought that Make This Appear would fit in the deck perfectly. And two copies of Go For The Throat, new removal spell from Brothers War. This destroys non-artifact creatures. It's perfect for removing Shieldred against a Rakdos midrange matchup. That's why we're going to be playing two copies of it. And we're also going to be playing two copies of a Heartless Act. If you see that opponent plays way too many shoulders in their deck, plus some Kali Toss as well, Heartless Act can be pretty valuable to bring in. And again, like I said before, we're going to be bringing in two copies of Colgan's Command versus Rakdos Midrange matchups so that we can get our Young Pyromancer and Iconoclast back from the graveyard onto our hand again. Then two copies of Chandra Torch of Defiance against some creature matchups or possibly some control matchups if opponent overboards board wipes for example that's something you could bring and a copy of unlicensed hearse versus greasing matchup and a copy of sedge more witch if you think you need more creatures and a copy of sahili for extra token generation versus control matchups but that's gonna be it for the intro i'm gonna be jumping into some best of one first and then we're gonna be moving on to possibly a game or two, depends on how long it takes, a best of three to show you guys how the deck does. And of course, if you guys enjoyed the video so far, leave a like, comment below, subscribe, and let's hop on over.
Iconoclast. Almost makes me not want to play Consider. Is that wrong? Darn. That's not good. It's an aggro deck. There's no way this is gonna stick. <laughs> I think I'm just gonna frantic inventory. Look for a removal spell. Oh yeah. We need Fatal Push now. Okay, that works out. Almost gave me a scare. Wow, they actually don't have removal spell. That's amazing. But how do we kill that? How do we kill Annex? With Blood Sheep Thirst? Yeah, opponent went to combat immediately. That 100% means that they have... um. Okay, so... Is it okay for me to take that much damage? Ember Cleave is 2 more red, so this grows to 5. And the Ember Cleave is like plus 1. That's 6. This is a 12 12 cleave. Oh, yeah, I definitely can't take that much damage. I definitely can't take that much damage. Ooh, that's good. That's good. So because opponent greeted... Do I want another black? I probably do. So now we can kill... The Annex. Um... I think... 6 damage. I think I am... Going to race them. Opponent has an Ember Cleave. So... We'll just race them. Do I care about an Ember Cleave? So I take 4 plus 5, I take 9? Do I, like, how much do I care about that? I, I feel like I don't care that much. Well, they pass. I could go up on life. Let's actually do that. 
Okay, looks like opponent has a bunch of Ember Cleaves in hand. That's nice. I'm gonna leave one back. So that if opponent draws like a Torbrand, we can block the first strike. And then we Fatal Push. Five, six, seven. Four, five, six. Yeah, let's block like this. Wow, they just pass. Does that mean they have something? Yeah, looks like they're trying to block with the den. I think that's what it is. Four, five, six. I think they're trying to block with the den. I think I'm gonna do the hive this time. If they reanimate, then they lose. If they bone cursor giant to third path iconoclast, they still lose. Did we do it? Nice. Uh, sure. Thought sees you. So this is, um... One of those decks. I guess we take the Liliana. Even though they can't cast it yet, but... I'd rather not, you know? Ooh. Well, there it is. I don't know if I want to use it yet. Okay. Goodbye, Iconoclast or Sahili, I guess. I feel like they should have taken Sahili, right? Considering that they have Witherbloom. Okay, we do have Graveyard Hate in the main deck. Just not seeing it. Oh, there it is. Just like that. Okay, let's let's go play best of three. You know, I have nothing against best of one. Okay. Decent start. But like I said, like I don't have any hatred against best of one. And I do enjoy best of one. But Okay. 
They only they kept a two land hand. I think it's Shark Typhoon. Yeah. But like I was saying, it's just like I play against so like best of one is just in Explorer especially. It's just the diversity of decks is just lacking. It's ch I feel like I play against either Rakdos mid range or Grease Fang decks. I don't even see control. Yeah, I, w I wish I played this on turn turn one, I guess. Ooh. That's kind of spicy. Um, could be a Wandering Emperor, so... I think it might be a Wandering Emperor. Hmm... I think I'm gonna do it like this. They shock. That's excellent. So I actually think opponent has is trying to do Castle Arden Veil. They have to uh, absorb maybe. Really? Farewell. Excel target creature with mana value less than equal to the number of planes you control. They have one plane. I guess it's... I, I guess we have to do this. Um, hopefully opponent doesn't draw a land. So we can win. Another land. Okay. That's a wrap. Is 23 land too much for this deck? Because I feel like we are drawing way too much land. Okay, so fatal push out. Two copies of Blood Chief Thirst. I don't think that's too bad.
maybe not of one mind. What's the last cut? What's the last cut? Maybe it is Shouldred. I don't think like the last copy is too bad though. Or actually it's just Bone Crusher Giant. Sounds good. Uh, I want some creatures early, like this one. This one looks good. Just not sure about either Sahili or... Is it this? No, it's it can't be. I think it, I think it has to be like that. So we can play the Iconoclast now and then we thought seize them after. I kind of want to play Sahili here. Let's attack first. I clearly opponent has something, right? They decided not to do it. That means they probably have a counter spell. I think I think it's a Jawari disruption. No. Again. They kept another two lander hand and then they just drew a field of ruin. Dovin's Veto. I think it actually might be Wandering Emperor. And then we keep attacking until they have to board wipe us, and then we play Sahili. I think that's the play. Okay, this is good. Spell Pierce. Perfect. Hooligan's Command is also perfect. They actually have it now. So we'll do this, and then they have the board wipe. That means we get a free Sahili, right? Just do it now. To get 
to get the value. Mm. Return target card. Do I want to deal 2 damage to them? They go to 6. They have to board wipe again. I think I will actually. I'm gonna force them to board wipe. That means uh, I get a free Den of the Bugbear trigger. Man, dude, this is a lot of lands. Um, obviously I have the win, but I have to do this. Oh, thought seeds. Perfect. Hmm. I'm gonna attack first. Target artifact you control. Target a creature you control. They have to Dovin's Veto here. And now they have to board wipe. And if they do, they lose. Sure, if they play Jawari, I haven't even seen it. Okay, so an opponent also has a million board wipe, two screams, um, one farewell. I'm guessing they play four copies of Scream, right? What about a Chandra? Probably not. Um, it is a pretty good value engine card. Maybe because opponents are just playing a million board wipes, Chandra's better. Maybe. Try this. Hmm. I'm inclined to mulligan. Oh, man. That is a big rip.
Oh, it would have been so good if I could bring out like a turn two spell. Like a pyromancer. That would have been so good. Like I said, that would have been so good. Like here, Iconoclast, Pyromancer, so good. I might just bring in Colgan's command, um, Croxa back. Just because I have nothing to do. I mean, I, I wish I had something to do here. I wish I did. Beto. I'm guessing this is Teferi, right? Okay, we got something to do. Um, let's see. Do I want to call against command now? I could. But... I think I just want to play Crocs next turn, right? Wow, you're gonna let the Croxa resolve? That's kind of crazy. If we win this, Malta 5, I'd be very, I'd be, I'd be very thrilled. Whenever you cast a non-creature spell, create a one. Okay, so it doesn't have to be my turn. I actually think this is a uh... wow. Okay, so it's not a it's not a Teferi. It's not a Teferi. Let's see. Do I want to? I probably should. Uh, discard a card. Return target card. Okay, so it was it was just land. Oh, 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 so good. Yes. Oh, man, that feels so good. Multi-five. That's how we do it. 